I'm Max Gross with Commercial Observer. I'm here in Hudson Yards for the first ever Real Estate X Gala, um, which I guess we're gonna find out what that means. Now, what is Real Estate X Gala? Um, well, let's ask the uh, two guys behind it, uh, Bob Knackle and Don Tepman. Um, can you give us the brief overview? What is Real Estate X Gala? Don, I'll turn it to you since this is your event, buddy. Sure. No, uh, sure. So it's really a celebration of um, the fact that social media is bringing folks together who are doing real things in the real estate world. There's something called the lurker effect of social media, which is folks with three or four followers, but they run large public companies. They're doing huge things, but um, they're going to be in this room tonight, uh, folks that don't want to have a following or a face, but they're on there every single day lurking, reading what's going on, and it, you know, it keeps them aware of uh, what's happening in the marketplace. And if Don's putting something on, you want to be with him. There were about 5,000 requests for tickets tonight. We have 200 spots. There are hundreds of people on the waiting list. This is, it's unbelievable. Max, we have folks flying in from Australia, New Zealand, Germany, Ireland, Dubai, Abu Dhabi. People are flying in from all over the place with this. This is the Super Bowl of social media events tonight. He's a big account on X, so like anybody else, I think he was like in the real estate Twitter community and uh, we had been following each other for a while. I think both, Max, both. I think if you embrace it, it's something to love. If you don't want the attention and you don't want to participate in it, then avoid it. I mean, it's a thing to love. Look at what uh, look at what strip mall guy's been able to uh, build here. To be loved, absolutely. Like anything that's powerful in life, you got to know how to control it, but it absolutely is a force for good. I like it. I don't fear it. I'm engaging it with, uh, more and more, so I'm not afraid of it. Uh, I don't think it's to fear. I think it's uh, an acquired love, like an acquired taste. I mean, I, I think they love uh, social media because they can get good exposure to new audiences, put new content out, and then kind of grow grow their following. And kind of like, you know, Don puts a lot of content out about how to get into commercial real estate investing. So it kind of inspires a lot of younger folks like myself to get into that as well. So speaking to a, to a pretty cool cool following. I would say Instagram and then LinkedIn because I'm an old guy that does business. Twitter for sure, I'm on Instagram, starting a YouTube channel, so I'm going across all the platforms and trying to reach out and, and, and build on all platforms, but I'm definitely the most active on, on X. We gotta, yeah, we gotta say X now. Can't say Twitter, yeah. yeah. Say I will always call it retweet. So sorry, Elon, if you're watching this, I'm a retweet. I'm, I, I started there. X and LinkedIn. I like LinkedIn a lot. I like making videos. I'm a big video guy, so YouTube's probably where I spend a lot of time making content. I'm personally on LinkedIn and X pretty much the entire day, whether it's surfing on my phone or sitting on my laptop. A balance between LinkedIn and X Twitter. We found three deals now that would not have happened. Um, we, we now own a strip mall um, in Crown Point, Indiana, which I never would have heard of, but one of my followers who's a broker in that area came across a deal, sent it to us, we bought it. So now our LPs, our fund, you know, owns a property that we otherwise wouldn't. We closed a $110 million deal with a guy that reached out to us, DM me on Twitter, and then six months later, he was buying an asset that we were selling. I have, I've actually done a fair amount of business from it, uh, but even more importantly, I've come to a number of events like this. This is just, this is probably the third one this year where I've actually met people in person from X. So, very cool. I, so, you know, as a fund manager, it's interacting with people. Like, as I was standing in line, I introduced myself, he goes, you're the REIT guy. And so, like, that alone, from my, where I'm trying to educate, really made me feel nice because it's, it's people know what I'm out there trying to do. Don has sent us a couple of amazing opportunities on the West Coast, and I think that's kind of what compelled us to look more on Twitter for opportunities. And, and there's a ton of business to be done. Look, everybody could be doing it better. I think a lot of these big companies have had straight jackets on them in terms of what they allow their employees and staff and brokers to do. And I think it's only a matter of time before they catch up and realize that this is where a lot of people want to be. Individuals can uh, can succeed in, in, in ways that larger organizations can't. They don't get diluted and watered down. 
I think they could do it better. Yeah, I think you're seeing more and more, uh, you know, up and coming brokerages in particular. Like a lot of individuals from CBRE and JLL are pretty active on the pro on the platform. But it's like we would love to see a lot more participation from some of the bigger accounts um, at the company level for sure. Oh, well, I got Bob Knackle's signature today. He has those baseball cards. So he posted a picture of him signing it today. That was great. Um, obviously, I've met Don. I've met a lot of the people uh, tonight, like Kyle Matthews, who you just had on. I got to sit down and go on his podcast. So really just continuing to work my way into the conversation, meet random people. It's so funny. It's like, hey, I follow you on Twitter. Nice to meet you. It's a little bit of awkward conversation at first, but I'm an offensive lineman. We meet new people. I've had new teammates every year for the past 11 years. You stick your hand out, you shake it, you introduce yourself, and you, and you move past. Everyone. I feel like we talk to people on the phone all day, uh, but there's a lot of names to faces, and, you know, really excited to see everyone in person. Yeah, real estate has become a big part of the Burger King strategy as a whole recently. So we're trying to expand our network, expand our portfolio, and tonight's a great opportunity for it. So we're very excited to be here.